A cardinal ad canon lawyer denies that he is involved in changing the papal election process to make it more synodal following reports over the weekend. Catholic outlets, The Pillar and The Remnant, reported that Pope Francis had tasked Cardinal John Franco Girlanda with drafting revisions to papal elections. Girlanda is an Italian Catholic cardinal closely associated with the Vatican. The reported revisions, including changing the pre-conclave meetings to have synod on synodality style small group discussions and limiting the pre-conclave meetings to only those cardinals who are under 80 and eligible to vote. But in an email to EWTN News this week, Cardinal Girlanda said, quote, I do not know anything about it, and any implication I have in it is a pure lie. The Vatican spokesman also denied knowledge in a statement to Catholic News Agency. And to bring us clarity on this story, we're joined by EWTN News editorial director, Dr. Matthew Bunsen. Matthew, great to be with you today. So can you bring us up to speed? I know there's been a lot of speculation, uh, but what do we know for sure? I mean, what are the facts regarding the potential papal election reform? Yeah, well, two different outlets, uh, the Pillar and Remnant, uh, both reported that Pope Francis is supposedly uh, considering making some changes into the process process of a papal election. Uh, all of the events leading up, for example, to an actual conclave when the cardinals are locked in the Sistine Chapel, and that he had enlisted the help of one of the world's leading canonists or experts in uh, church law uh, to help him, and that is an Italian Jesuit cardinal, uh, Gianfranco Ghirlanda, uh, who supposedly was going to help him craft a number of changes uh, to the discussions leading into the actual vote. Among the changes that were supposedly being floated uh, was the idea that uh, cardinals over the age of 80 would no longer be allowed to take part in what are called the general congregations, in other words, the gatherings of the cardinals uh, before they go in and actually vote. Uh, one of the other uh, proposals was that they were going to embrace more of a synodal model, in other words, instead of having all of the cardinals together having these conversations, they would use, like we saw with the synod on synodality, a series of small discussions, small tables, so it's more of a spiritual event. Cardinal Ghirlanda, however, has uh, very strongly denied any involvement uh, in any sort of a preparation for changes to the conclave. Uh, and uh, although the news outlets are standing by their reporting, uh, even the Vatican itself, through its spokesman, denied that such changes are in the works. Yeah, Matthew, I mean, is it even possible, though, to change how papal elections happen? And what would that require? Well, the answer, in short, is yes. Uh, any pope can change uh, the process of electing his successor. We've seen a number of changes over the last decades, from Pope Paul VI to John Paul II to, to Benedict XVI, and even Pope Francis has made a few minor modifications. What it would require is Pope Francis simply issuing a decree uh, altering how the process of election or the preparations for an election would take place. Uh, we'll see. Uh, once again, there's little indication that this is actually happening, and, and Cardinal Ghirlanda, again, denying that this is uh, taking place, but it is well within the authority of a pope to do so. Uh, and and Pope Francis may very well make that decision before too long. Matthew, we have about 30 seconds left or so, but I quickly yeah. want to ask you this. I mean, this is something a lot of people are talking about, these reports that lay people could be involved in the conclave. What more do you know about that? And, you know, does the church leave room for that? Yes. Uh, well, uh, the reporting says that uh, Pope Francis might be toying with the idea of having lay people participate in these general congregations, in other words, the discussions before the conclave. The remnant was reporting that there was even an idea that uh, there might be a percentage of lay people who would be chosen as electors in a conclave. All of that is well within the authority of Pope Francis to do, but again, there's no indication uh, as of yet uh, that that's in the works. Traditionally, uh, for a very, very long time in the life of the Church, cardinals, uh, exclusively cardinals, uh, have had the right to vote for popes. Pope Francis uh, may decide to change that. Uh, we'll have to see in the coming months. All right, Dr. Benson, thank you so much. We appreciate your insights as always.